Hey guys, I'm Tom Rohr, and I've been skating for over 20 years. I'm here to give you all the details that you need to know to learn tricks as fast and efficiently as possible, and of course make it fun in the process. Every trick has that one tip that you should never forget. Once you know what that is, it's in the bag. Let's get into it. Well, we got kicked out for skating in the parking lot, so new spot. What's up guys, we're back and I'm so excited to teach you this trick today. Surprisingly, a lot of you guys have been wanting to see laser flips, which actually blows my mind because this is a really hard trick. But before we get into it, you guys have probably heard me talk about this mental performance shot called Magic Mind, but I can't stress to you guys how much of an impact it's had on my focus, especially as someone with ADD. No joke, when I drink this stuff before we film these tutorials, we get through the talking points noticeably faster. It's insane the difference that it actually makes. What's even more noticeable is how much more on point I am when I skate after I drink it. Obviously the goal of skateboarding is to land your tricks and to be consistent, right? What do those require more than anything? Focus, which is exactly what Magic Mind improves. And what comes after focus? Balance, which you need healthy, clean energy for. Not the energy you get from coffee or processed drinks that make you jittery. Magic Mind is so effective because they use the highest grade matcha, organic ashwagandha mushrooms for decreased stress, turmeric for inflammation, and vitamins that enhance cognitive function. And that's just to name a few. All of these combined help your mind and your body to be optimized for anything that requires focus. Some of its ingredients take several days of drinking it in a row to reach their full effect, so drink it daily for the best results. If you want to try it, you can get 20% off your next order for the next 10 days using the code in my description below. I highly recommend looking at those ingredients for yourself. Let's learn laser flips. I have to advise you though, this trick is easier to do off of a ramp or a kicker or off of a curb. It's a hard trick on flat ground. So if you're trying to learn this, I would suggest starting like that, maybe even off a hip, and then once you're ready, take it to the flat ground. Let's get into the foot position. For the front foot, I like to have my foot further back for this trick than most tricks because it requires so much effort and so much kick and flick with your foot. It goes so far out. If I have it too far up, I'm not gonna be able to rotate as much because I won't be able to get that front foot to kick out, which actually guides the rotation. So a good place for me to think of is pretty much right in the center of my board. For me, I like to have my toes just barely hanging off the edge because you want all that weight down right here on this edge of the board. You also want enough weight on your back foot, which I'll explain, to even out the balance. But for your front foot, it may be easier for you to hang it off a little bit more. For most people, that's more normal, but I just personally like to have a lot of weight right there. But you're gonna have to play around with it. Your feet might be able to hang off more like that, and it might still work as long as you can put the weight down there. One big reason I don't hang my toe off as much is because I can get more weight down on my board and it helps me pop more. And you need a lot of pop for this trick. Some tricks like I've explained, you go up on your toes before you pop, but for this one, I keep my front foot pretty flat, as long as there's more weight on the ball of your foot slash your toes versus your heel. I would also try playing around with the angle of your foot because if it's angled too much, that can affect you being able to rotate it. And if it's too perpendicular, that can also affect it. I personally like to have a little bit of an angle. Now the back foot. I like to have my back foot way in this pocket. For some reason that really helps you get a good rotation and get a nice scoop, which you really need for laser flips. My foot is pretty much right here. So all my weight's pushing down on this side of the tail, not the direct center, a little bit in this pocket. Another big reason that your foot is on this side of the board is because if your foot's on this other side or even too much in the center, what's gonna happen is when you go to pop, you're pushing all that weight down on your front foot on this edge. So if your board is leaning that way with both feet, you're gonna pop and it's just not gonna pop enough. So by having your foot on this side of the board and your front foot on this edge, when you go to pop and scoop, your board is nice and level and you don't lean too far this way. So you get a nice snap and it gives you the most pop that you can get for this trick, which you absolutely need. And in regard to weight, obviously you want more on your popping foot and as much as you can possibly put down. You have to bend so far down for this trick. Once you're way down there, have a ton of weight on your back toe and a good amount of weight on your front foot because that pressure is what's gonna really help it flip and even guide the rotation, like I said. And as you're rolling up, since you have to bend down so far for this, you have to know how to squat properly. So I would suggest if you don't know how to squat like this, if you don't feel comfortable bending down like this or you don't have good balance, work on that. Really practice squatting because you gotta go so far down and have some strength for this. And it sometimes helps me to take my time bending down instead of like popping down really quickly because that can throw off your balance. So get your feet into the position and then slowly bend down. See how good my balance is right there? Once you have good balance, that's when you pop. Now 
let's talk about the way you lean and how your shoulders turn. Before you pop, you wanna be leaned pretty square above your board, like pretty centered, I would say. I sometimes like to be a little bit over my toes for heel flip tricks, but you do have to lean back for this trick. The only reason I say to lean slightly over your toes is because you don't want your board leaning this way, like crooked before you pop. That will not allow your board to flip. You want it to be level. And for your shoulders, you're probably gonna want to turn them this way, but you have to keep them parallel to your board. See how my shoulders are parallel? Keep them like that throughout the whole trick. It's gonna help you stay above your board more and jump back better, as I'll explain shortly. But if you turn like this, it's gonna be a lot harder to get your feet to land back on the board and to stay above it. Now let's talk scoop. This is probably the scoopiest trick out of every trick in skateboarding. You gotta scoop this thing as good as you possibly can. And it takes a lot of strength, like I said. So when you're bending down, all that weight on the back foot, you pop, make sure you get the snap first. Always focus on a good snap because you need pop more than anything. And scoop comes after pop. So get a good snap, scoop the crap out of it. The second you snap and scoop, you're popping and your foot kicks straight out. And then you bring it up and you have to get your back foot back above your board. It's almost like this motion. Right? <laughs> and then your front foot flicks straight out, nice and fast. It all comes down to timing, like in every skateboarding trick. The second you scoop, you can kind of see in slow motion that right when my board hits about 90 degrees, that's when my front foot is flicking off of it. So your back foot scoops 90, then your front foot flicks off of it, guiding the rotation even more and flipping the board simultaneously. It's all a really fast and a really strong motion, like boom, fast. This is probably gonna be the hardest challenge for you in this trick. Your board's just gonna end up behind you. And don't worry if that happens, it's so easy to do when you're learning this. Probably the biggest tip for this is that you have to jump back right as you pop. And it's challenging because you have to be able to balance your board, you know, not lean too far over your toes, not lean too far over your heels like I explained. So if you find that perfect balance, once you pop, pop up, and also jump back. That helps so much with staying above your board. I lean just slightly back as I'm popping because it also helps me jump back this way. Kind of like how I just showed you guys the motion of my back foot. It flicks out this way and then it comes back up. That also helps you with staying back and above your board. When you're learning these, you can just one foot them and get the motion of the flick down and the rotation before you try to commit to getting both feet on the board. And once you feel comfortable with the flick, then you can fully commit. If you guys land some, send them to our Instagram DMs. I want to see them. Make sure you stick around for the key takeaways after this and some laser flips as well as one in slow motion. And before you guys leave, I wanna share that I'm dropping a street part in the very near future. It's gonna be in the next Dabble VM skate video. I'll link Dabble VM's YouTube channel down below. So keep your eyes on this channel. My part's gonna be releasing on here for you guys. Can't wait for you guys to see it. That's all I got for you guys today. Let's do some laser flips. Before you leave, make sure you hang on to these key takeaways. Put weight on your front toes on that front edge of the board with your back foot in the corner pocket of the tail. Make sure your board is level before you pop. Get a good pop first, then scoop as hard as you can. Flick off that edge of the board using your toes. Bring your back foot up and back. And finally, jump back over your heels to stay above the board. Thank you as always, guys. Send me some trick requests. Yeesh!